Hello everyone, my name is Marwa Lawedi. I'm from Tunisia and I'm happy to be part of the BGRI technical workshop this year. Today I will be presenting the characterization of the transport pathogen by elephantus in Tunisia and its comparison with the global pathogen collection. Transport is an important disease of wheat worldwide that can cause up to 50% yield losses under favorable conditions. The causal agent of the disease is the unicotrophic fungus Pyronophora tutisai repentis, which undergoes sexual and asexual reproductions, leading to high diversity. Tunisia is a secondary durum wheat uh, center of diversification, where durum wheat is cultivated over half a million hectares, representing 87% of the area dedicated to wheat production. There have been some reports that transport has been present in North Africa and in Tunisia since the 1970s, but went uh, often unnoticed or misdiagnosed as septoria tutisai blotch disease, which is a major disease in Tunisia. During the last few years, transport has become an emerging fast spreading disease in Tunisia, mainly due to the adoption of reduced or no till uh, practices, the monoculture of susceptible cultivars, as well as the uh, homothelic nature of the fungus. So to date, uh, no much work has been done on PTR in Tunisia, and since the genetic diversity of PTR populations is an extremely important feature of its biology, as it can provide information about its origin, disperser, and as well as uh, information about um, strategies of its control, we are uh, characterized 75 PTR isolates from three main wheat growing areas in Tunisia, termed uh, Northwestern region, Northern region, and uh, coastal region during two cropping seasons. So as a reminder to date, uh, PTR isolates are classified into eight races based on their ability to induce necrosis or chlorosis symptoms on the differential lines, plainly as 6B662, 6B365, and Senegal. The phenotypic race characterization of PTR isolates revealed the existence of six races, mainly races 2, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8, with the predominance of races 5 and 7. PTR race composition in Tunisia is consistent with other races reported in North Africa. In fact, races five and seven were found to be predominant in neighboring countries, Algeria and Morocco. The PCR analysis revealed that 58% of the identified races were consistent with their phenotypic characterization as races four, five, six, seven, and eight. Interestingly, 48, 42% were found to be atypical. These atypical isolates were able to cause necrosis on the uh, differential line glenia, but lacked the expected TOX-A gene. Hence, uh, they may have new uh, necrotrophic effectors. The TOX-B gene uh, was present in 97% of the Tunisian PTR isolates. Interestingly, the race 4 uh, isolate originated from Tunisia did not appear to carry the TOXP homologue, or at least it did not carry a form of the gene that could be amplified with the TOXP specific primers used in this study and developed by Andre Leal. It is possible that since the TOXB homologue appears to be a, an inactive form of TOXB, the gene was not present in this isolate, or since these primers were uh, designed based on the TOXB uh, sequence of the North American race for isolate, they fail to amplify another variant that may actually be unique to North America, North, uh, North Africa. An SSR analysis using uh, 59 Tunisian isolates from the three main wheat growing areas and uh, representing all identified races, along with the uh, 39 isolates from the international collection originating from um, Algeria, Canada, Azerbaijan, Syria, and Iran, as illustrated in the figure, were conducted. The population genetic structure revealed 76% overall percentage of polymorphic loci of the Tunisian isolates. 
It also revealed the high genetic diversity of the entire collection as well as the international collection of isolates. The overall gene flow was estimated as 2.091. The greatest gene flow was observed between the Algerian and Canadian populations, followed by Algerian and Azerbaijani populations, then the Azerbaijani and Canadian populations, and finally, Canadian and Iranian populations. This can be due to the possible spread of PTR or the exchange of migrants between these populations via various mechanisms, such as seed movement. The clustering of the uh, PTR isolates originating from three geographical origins in Tunisia revealed the clustering into two distinct groups where the northwestern region isolates clustered separately from region from the coastal region and the um, northern region. Algerian, Azerbaijani, Canadian, and Iranian populations of PTR clustered together separately from Tunisian and Syrian isolates. The PTR Tox B producers representing races 3, 5, 6, 7, 8, and as well as the atypical isolates identified in this study, clustered separately from races 1 and 2, which do not produce the PTR Tox B. As a conclusion, additional work is needed to understand the virulence of transport fungus on durum weed in North Africa. This is due to the identification of a large number of atypical isolates combined with the differentiation of PTR populations based on their geographical origin and capacity to produce the necrotrophic effect of PTR toxin. This region may represent as an important center of diversity of PTR. Further characterizations of uh, uh, the pathogen populations from this region and from breadweed may facilitate the identification of novel necrotrophic effectors as well as races of PTR. This study also lays the foundation for an efficient strategy in breeding for transport resistance. In fact, the knowledge of the genetic diversity in PTR populations can help in predicting the effectiveness of transport resistance resources as well as identifying and avoiding sensitivity to necrotrophic effectors. Our results hence suggest that testing should be conducted against multiple races and at diff different locations and environment in order to develop durable resistance to transport disease. In this context, um, a study on, uh, on resistance to transport disease among uh, a Mediterranean collection of uh, durum meat accessions was conducted under feed collection conditions in Tunisia and this work uh, concluded to uh, the submission of a paper which was entitled Euro Mid Mediterranean Embraces of Valuable Sources for Resistance to Transport Disease. Follow up studies using GWAS analysis uh, of transport resistance in Tunisia are actually under investigation. The work which I presented today uh, was recently published in Plant Disease. And the work was conducted in a collaboration between the CRP Reed Sartoria Precision Phenotyping Platform, led by Simit and Eriza, and managed by uh, Professor Amor Yahiri and Dr. Sarah Ben Barak, as well as the Plant Pathology Laboratory at the University of Alberta, led by Dr. Uh, Stephen Sterkov and the National Agronomic Institute of Tunisia, represented by Dr. Khaled Thank you for your attention.